It has been said that the average person is subject to thousands of advertising ads and images daily. Well, one local artist is fascinated with these images that have shaped his childhood. Now these images are inspiration for his art. ABC 15 photojournalist Brian McHugh spoke to Phoenix artist Glenn Allen to understand how he incorporates these images into his work. The starting place for me is emotion, like more so than an intellectual pursuit, like the trigger and the genesis of the piece is an emotion. It's definitely inspired by like the plant world, the animal world, things that I've seen in nature. Those are my major inspirations. Popular culture, of course, it's always a huge influence. I, you know, grew up with comic books and video game cartridges and packaging, endless amounts of packaging, packaging, advertising, marketing, just, you know, nonstop. And so even in terms of like, to use a word like integrity, you know, how can my work have integrity? Well, all these images were an ingredient in that. And so I, I feel that to be a pop artist, especially from, you know, Western culture, where there's such an emphasis on those things, marketing and advertising, it does give the work a kind of integrity. I like playfulness through color. I don't discriminate because the way I see the spectrum and the rainbow of colors is there's no discrimination from nature. There's no hierarchy of importance to these colors. Sometimes when I make work, it can be very mental. Like even though I'm going after emotion, there's a self-editing and a self-censoring process. So in order to break through that, sometimes the mark making does come out to look almost psychotic or scrawling, or there's an element of violence to it. And what that is, it's like the physical having to override the mental. Depends on what my the aim is and the intent is. Like if I'm completely uninhibited and just in the studio, I just let things percolate, simmer, and it's like a big stew of images. Things collide, things get painted over, things get partially painted over, colors change. Images, you know, mutate, get bigger and smaller, and it just shape shifts until I stop it, reach a stopping point when it looks done or feels balanced or is in danger of falling apart. I think my work is playful for now. It hasn't always been that way. I strive to keep that positivity and that playful energy in it because I think that that's important because I think ultimately that can be the function of art on a human and level is to foster communication, dialogue, hopefulness, good cheer. I have trouble defining my work to, uh, to define it to me, contains it, cuts the air supply off, puts it under glass, binds it, sits it on the shelf. What I want people to take away from my work after they see it at a show or in my studio or through seeing it on the street even, is I want them to take away an emotion or uh, a laugh, something humorous or a point to start a discussion from, something that fosters communication, something that fosters more creativity. And if you are interested in learning more about the work of artist Glenn Allen, you can use the information on your screen there or just log on to our website, abc15.com.